Happy New Year to all you Capricorn. This is the first week reading of the New Year's. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful shares and surprise. Okay, it is the first week. It is the energy of the Capricorn. So let's see what's coming up in the first week for the Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. Oops, okay, something fell out. Damn, you Capricorn. <laughs> Your wishes and dreams are coming true, and it just fling out and just swirl around. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be a good week for you, um, Capricorn. So your wishes and dreams are gonna be coming out. So okay, let's see what else is coming out for the Capricorns. What's coming out for the Capis? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Judgment call, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. What's happening? What's happening for the Capcans? Okay, it's all about work. Okay. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The energy of the I Princess is here to connect with you guys in the week. Okay, your wishes and dreams are going to come out about an organization. So, whatever lies and deception that has transpired within the organization, it's going to be coming out. So, it is a week where you Capricorns, so your wishes and dreams are going to be coming out because the Nine of Cups is a central and you're going to be receiving this message. The Page of Wands is coming in to give you a message about something beautiful that is about to happen in this week okay let's take a look so the central is all about and there's a judgment call so you have two major arcana you have two major arcana now some of you have been dealing with um uh, the king of wands okay some of you have been dealing with the King of Wands and the King of Swords. Now, the King of Wands and the King of Swords. Now, whatever it was with the King of Swords, your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true because judgment is coming down on the King of Swords. Okay? Some of you, the King of Swords could be an old boss who should have paid you some money and he didn't do it. Judgment is coming down because they realize what has transpired. Okay? They realize what has transpired. So judgment is coming down on the King of Swords, and you gotta pay up. Okay, the King of Wands is a situation that would work. Listen to your intuition. Some of you are dealing with the King of Swords. Uh, judgment. There's gonna be a judgment call that is coming down on the King of Swords. Whoever this King of One is, listen. Some of you are dealing with people. The, um, some of you are dealing with. An Aquarius Gemini or Libra okay he, he, judgment call is coming down on him and the king of wands okay the judgment call is coming down on him and the king of wands now the king of wands could be an ex boss for some of you the king of swords is an ex boss who is these people these people are the energy of uh, the Aquarian Gemini or Libra king of wands is the energy of an Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay and it has to do with work so for some of you it has to do with work because here you can see the lies and deceitfulness that is coming up so let's see what's happening with the five of pentacles because the king of swords should have paid you some money the three of pentacles he should have paid you some money okay this man didn't pay the money the ace of pentacles okay so the eye princess is going to make a judgment call and make sure you're going to be receiving oh my gosh the ten of wands um, energy is the, the king of rods come up twice it's a wheel from fortune it's something to do with the work but you're going to be successful over the situation okay what is a what is affecting what is going to be affecting the um what is the most in okay Okay. Alrighty. 
Okay, the Knight of Cups is here. All right, this 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 is like powerful reading going on right here. Okay, so I'm seeing the situation with the Three of Cups. You Capricorns, you always there's an, uh, a situation with your work situation. It's a karmatic situation. Okay, this King of Rod. Who the hell are you? And you know why are you here? Who is this King of Rod? Because he's here twice. He's using his power to do something, okay? That M needs to get out of your way. Okay, some of you are dealing with, and it could be your father, it could be, but it's not coming up at this. Whoever this person is, they're using their power or their their power to to um to make something don't happen. But you know, you you're like on top of this. You're like on top of this, okay? Um, all right. The Knight of Cups is here, okay? I gotta find out what he's up to also. But um, who is this? Because this man comes up twice. So some of you are going to be dealing with an uh, Aries Lee or Sagittarius. This man is coming up twice, okay? Who is this bloody man? What is your problem? He's in an organization. The Knight of Rods is also here. It is a past life situation that you need to be dealing with, okay? Um, he's working together with the Knight of Wands. So um, these people are both old and young, and they're from out of an organization. And um, the Six of Cups is also here. So I need, I need to know. I'm sorry. When someone comes up double, Page of Pentacles and Strength, okay? A Page of Pentacles and Strength. You know, whoever these people are, they need to get the F out. Okay, I'm just sick of nasty people like this because I have to deal with them in my normal life. And trust me, trust me, it's not really happened. And now I'm a Capricorn too. So, mm. worries in an organization. Uh, some of you are dealing with these um, um, people at work and. Page of Pentacles, um, a family situation that has to do with money. Okay, a family situation that has to do with money. Okay, so let's get in the reading here. Let's get in the reading. The Five of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Oh, I wish these people would go away. A new start is coming. Okay, a new start is coming because here we have the energy of the Five of Pentacles. You're working to make a new start in your life. Okay, so some of you are going to be moving yourself out of the hardship and out of um, a place that no longer serves you. About you have to be, you know, struggling um, to get in balance with your financial situation. And you're moving out of that energy, right? You're moving out of that energy. Okay. All right, we have a situation with a king of swords. Some of you, this is an old boss, this is an ex partner who should be um, paying you some money. He didn't do it, and this is coming to an end. Okay, so it's um, he lies, he didn't pay, he's there, they, they are caught, they have caught up with this person. You could be working for this person, he's an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, and he did not. There's a lot of money that he didn't give up. You know something about this. Anyway, they find out. So here, good. So, <laughs> you know, fuck. Sorry. So there is an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra who was your old boss who messed your life up, who tried to ruin you together with the, the King of Wands, and they both has um, falsify information about you. Yeah, they're both falsify information about you, but they're also not good business people because they have been doing something that was illegal and they're going to be found out. So, whoever this King of Swords is and this King of Wands is, because so, the King of Swords is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian, okay, and yeah, an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libran, an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libran. And this Aries Libran or Sagittarius man 
okay because they're all working together and their lives are coming to an end judgment call conflict so yes because the man wasn't being honest and you saw him for who he was you told him who he was he wasn't being honest it was a deceptive man whoever is the Aquarian Gemini or Libra judgment is coming down on him because he lies and they're gonna find out the truth this man is a lying man he's an Aquarian Gemini or Libra he is your ex boss he's a lying man he's a disgusting person and whoever the government is gonna find out something about this man and he has to pay because the tower came down on him and it's good for him what happened because he's a deceptive person some of you could have worked for this person some of you this person is connected with your family you could be working with this person whoever this person is he's lie he's deceptive he has been doing things that and he tries to ruin you and they're going to find this out there I said it there I said it so it's like a government organization or so it's gonna come in on on this man because he was supposed to pay you some money and he's trying all his utmost best he is working with someone this person could be overseas it was the king of rods they could be on your telephone they could be but these two people have sold your information of uh, acquire your information and use your information and they're going to be found out in this week judgment for them and it's just the first week which is judgment so let's see what is happening with the burden of the page of wands so you're gonna be receiving a message okay justice comes in all right so you were carrying some burden you receive a message about the burden you were carrying and a message is going to be coming in that money is coming to you because justice came down and says pay the money the deceptive thing about this yeah because you can see the justice came down on him here the justice came down on this Aquarian Gemini or Libra person because they found out they have told him to pay you um, the money and he did not do it and justice came down on him now they're going to rip everything that he has because they know that he has been lying and he hasn't been deceptive and that is it when you have shit don't mess with other people this is all it is saying when you know you have shit don't mess with other people okay and sometimes people see you and you walk away from things and yet still they just constantly constantly now this person this Aquarius Gemini or Libra has some shit okay he got a lot of shit in um, that he's carrying justice is going to come down on him and they're going to take everything from him because they're going to be realizing what he has been doing good for you okay now we're looking at the Aries Leo or Sagittarius person whoever this person is he has been lying and trying to scam his way out of things and um, he's gonna be found out also they're gonna be finding out that this man these two people have been working together um, and there's some 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 worries in the organization okay because whoever this this oh, you Capricorn ladies it's as if you Capricorn ladies found out something very deceptive that has transpired okay you have found out that a company or an organization has been lying and deceiting okay you Capricorn ladies because you're here you are here because um, it's as if an organization is worried that what you know what you have said because they know they did something deceptive and they want to know what you have said and the rest of it but you're seeing the truth because they lie they lie and the truth is coming out so you Capricorn ladies are bringing down shit on everyone because they all lie and you are balancing out certain things and it's not that you're bringing down shit on them the thing about it is that with these two men is that they they have done something very deceiving okay you know that and you walk away and even though you walk away they kept on coming and coming and coming and coming and coming and now justice is going to deal with it 
someone in higher power is going to deal with it because they realize now what has transpired now for you Capricorn ladies um, when it comes to work um, some of you are going to be landing your dream jobs okay all right so wheel of fortune is coming in and the work area for you the eye princess is going to show you the way and how to deal with a situation some of you have a situation to deal with the knight of cups okay some news is um, some news is going to be coming in for the knight of cups so whatever the situation is whatever that has been transpired whether this person is your partner or uh, your child or um, a relative um, uh, you are going to be okay he is going to be okay you are going to be okay because they have realized what has been transpired okay Knight of Pentacles you Knight of Pentacles or dealing um, you people between the ages of 18 and 45 is dealing with someone in an organization there, there are some worries in an organization because they realize that um, whatever has transpired should not have transpired okay they're seeing that there there's a leak in the organization where there are things that has transpired because there's no way that certain things could have happened okay so a government institution or organization oh my god 16 minutes i gotta go i gotta go ask for a private reading i gotta go it's 16 minutes but whatever is happening to you capricorns mm, 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 mm. um unite of pentacles okay you're worried some of you are worried about money and you have some regrets okay um unite of pentacles some of you um ladies have a regrets if you were dealing in with a knight of pentacles which is a taurus virgo or capricorns you have some regrets he also have some regrets listen to your intuition get out of the relationship okay what is coming up for the Capricorns in the first week of January? I'm loving this way. I'm doing the readings. The extra card is here. But here. Oh, no. Okay. Um, if you choose card one, it's partnership. If you choose card two, it's going to be a birth. A rebirth is going to be happening okay so if you choose card one it was partnership and if you choose card two there's a rebirth that is going to be happening okay the truth is going to be coming out ladies and gentlemen it's all about relationship and rebirths in relationship I'm seeing some good news coming in BAM I told you guys I told you guys that the lies and the deceptions this week it's gonna be over because the truth is coming out so you know to all those Aquarian Gemini's and Libra those Aries Leo and Sagittarians that has been bloody lying keeping someone especially um, for um, the Aries Leo, the, the Aquarius, Gemini, or Leo, bye. Bye bye. Good for that person. You know, sometimes people think that they have so much power and they're reigned with so much power and that sort of a thing. And what they don't understand is that there is something that is karma. Now, the Lord of Karma is always here. Some people receive power, and some people, I always say to people, be careful the way you use your power because it has a way of returning to you I always live my life in balancing out karmas and that is why sometimes some horrible things happen and I turn my back and walk away because um, as you retaliate as you are um, very upset you know as you retaliate um, that sometimes it's better I always turn my back and walk away and you realize that people think turning your back and walking away is basically that you know you have no backbone or that sort of a thing no it's about karma it's about leaving it because whatever another person does to you something else worse is going to be happening to them 
okay and this is why I always try to live my life in the best possible way um, to be honest and helpful of people and don't try to stab people in their back and this person whether this Aquarian Gemini or Libra person is you got your shit you got a lot of shit whether you are in a woman or a man you have been one of the most honest promising person on this planet and now somebody walked away from you and you constantly went and went at them and now justice is gonna get you and you deserve it because sometimes it is better to leave other people alone okay you think that you have the power no one has the power okay people once you learn to respect each other once you understand who we are but this person these two person was being very deceptive and it's time that the truth comes out damn and it fell down I didn't pick this card it just fell out okay so the truth is gonna come out about what took place I love you guys 21 minutes see you next week